is it Shia and I'm back with another video today. So last month I read these three amazing books and I was thinking of doing a mini review so that I can just talk about all the three books at one go and discussing which one I liked more, which one I liked a little less but then still they are my favorite. So uh, without much further ado, let's get on with the video. So the first book which I'm going to be talking about is How I Became a Farmer's Wife by Yashodhara Lal. So this book was sent to me by HarperCollins and to be honest, I was very much surprised because first, I did not expect them to be sending me a book for reviewing and second, the genre is pretty unusual. It is a non-fiction yet a kind of a memoir by Yashodhara Lal herself. So this book is basically about Yashodhara Lal finding out her husband Vijay. So he basically wants to change his entire career path and become a farmer in not really a farmer but buy a land and get you know into dairy farming and thinking about you know supplying vegetables to a lot of places and you know uh, being a farmer at the end so that basically comes as a very huge shock to her and she thinks that oh my god how am i gonna support my husband being a farmer but although she becomes very positive about the entire scenario and she ends up supporting him very much so the thing about this book is it's very unusual it is a fiction yet a non-fiction thing where you understand a lot about people who wants to change their career even though because of society or pressure or peer pressure they end up disregarding their interest but at the end when they do really think about finally changing their career family always ends up helping them so this book at the end talks about how the author Yashodhara Lal ends up helping her husband in every single possible aspect they have beautiful three children who are like so super duper cute so the entire family ends up supporting each other in every single aspect the fact that the risks and all the unsettling things surrounding when you want to do something on your own especially when you change your career path it has been portrayed very nicely and this book is for those who love to do things on their own especially for those who are like into building up a startup or a business or a company this book does talk a lot about that so i really like this book because first of all the writing style is very plain and simple it's a witty book it's a smart book there are a lot of places where you literally laugh a lot and the fact that it has been written by the author in a narrative way and the way she describes her entire life scenario it's really beautiful it's like going to your next door and talking about life stories and describing things it's so that's why this book is very relatable and i really like reading it it's a very light read and i give this book a four out of five star and the written review is on my blog post so the second book that i'll be talking about is trust me not by ankita verma datta this book is a thriller book so i received this book from writer's melon itself so this book basically talks about reva rai who is an upcoming person in the entire political scenario and she has been given the task of being and she has been given a prestigious position in a very upcoming not upcoming a very well-known pr agency so in the pr agency the person who comes around is kunal kabi who is a billionaire and Working with him becomes a little issue because apparently they end up developing feelings for each other. So the problem starts occurring when an activist friend of her contacts her in terms of helping in regarding some real estate scam. That is where the entire political scenario comes up and she gets her life in a very endangered position and the fact that she has to go through series of risks and crazy obstacles has been portrayed in this book very nicely talking about the writing style it is a very gripping book mysteries and thrillers have always been my go-to genre and those books have always encouraged me to read more and more because they kind of grip you and make you feel like oh my god the suspense is always there so that in this book has been done very nicely it's a very gripping book the moment you start reading it you cannot put it down because the storyline has been given in very so if you think about it reva rai being an upcoming person in the entire political scenario and Kunal Kabi being a billionaire having feelings for each other and ending up in a political scam come on that's anyhow very interesting so yes the story plot the entire plot line is very gripping I mean it, it took me what a day to finish this book and that's like pretty good anyhow during the end there's a little bit of uh, dragged 
you can say but the entire book is anyhow pretty fast paced there's a twist at the end which makes it all the more interesting so yes this book receives an entire four out of five for me so yeah do go on and read this book it's a good mystery book i'll say you need to get this book so the last book that i am going to be talking about today is a closet full of skeleton by tanushri podar this book is actually one of those bollywood movie kind of a thing if given to a very good director so basically the story is about romila who is a very well known actress but she wants to go away from the entire glamour world and you know rediscover herself so she goes to a hill station to rediscover herself and write a memoir about her entire life so she invites her all the exes be it her ex-husband ex-lovers everyone and they end up reaching there for her birthday party but when they get to know that she's writing a memoir about her entire life journey they become pretty much scared because they end up trying to you know make every single possible way to stop this memoir coming out because it will ruin their life some way or the other and the funny thing that happens is that they end up finding romila being murdered before she even starts the entire process then comes the entry of a retired army officer he has always been interested in being a detective and all those kind of thing so here comes the first murder mystery for him to solve and that's how he ends up taking it taking his first case and he ends up trying every single possible way to find out who the murderer is the summary is interesting isn't it i thought oh my god i did not expect again because there have been a lot of disappointments previously with all the other mystery books which i have been receiving but this one was wow <laughs> I actually did not I was I was very much surprised to see how the entire story was going. It's like thrilling. There is like a lot of mystery, a lot of suspense in there. So when you start reading this book you'll be like, "Oh my god, I did not expect this to happen." Another few pages and you'll be like, "Oh my god." So that's why this book is very interesting, very gripping. I love the writing style. It is fast-paced, it is simple. I mean there are, are no fancy words for which you will go scratching your head. It's a very plain and simple written book but the storyline the plot line is perfect. So for those who really love mystery books I will actually recommend this truly because this is one of those book which will make you go crazy. So trust me when I say crazy yeah. So I did the written review on my blog post and I'll be mentioning the link in the description box below. So um yeah you can go and check it. So talking about the rating I'm going to be giving this book a total 4.5 out of 5 stars. Yeah, this book is pretty intense, pretty nice and I really suggest you to go and grab it right now. So this was my mini review of these three books which I really liked and I have done a written review of these three also on my blog post and I'll be mentioning the links in the description box below so you can go and read it if you feel like. And I think this will be more than enough. Just mini review for just to know how they are. So I think I was able to make you a little excited about these books, and I really suggest you go for these because they are very different, very unusual, and they are nice and interesting. So yeah, thank you again, everybody, for watching this video. I will be mentioning all the social media handles in the description box below and all the links and everything, so that it will be all the more easier for you. So thank you so much again. I'll be coming back next week with another video. Till then, bye bye.